nostalgic. Welcome, Welcome to the show. show. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing, man? All right. This is the day where I do the playthroughs. Yes, the playthroughs are done on Friday. On Friday, we do playthroughs and today we are featuring our Earns Happel Challenge here on the channel. Welcome to the channel. My name is Daljit. Yes, I also stream on YouTube. Oh, no, I don't stream on YouTube. I stream on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch at Bustanet. As well as you, uh, probably you guys probably found me from my other channel, which is Bustanet, which does shorter form guide contents on the game. Yes, um, due to popular request, someone has asked me to do something about pressing. Right, uh, pressing guide. Or basically explain pressing. Ooh, that's going to be a really interesting one to explain. Because it's got UI bugs in it. So, yeah, having to explain that and trying to rationalize why certain things look the way they do is going to be uh, is going to be like peeling a layers on an onion. And I'm going to try my best. I and the thing is, besides that channel six minutes, I'm going to try and keep that pressing uh, guide to six minutes as well. Um, it's The request was fairly complicated, but I'm, I'm going to try and do my best to make it as simple as possible. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I am having... Uh, it's going to be the weekend very soon over here. Uh, I, get, I go for my second dose vaccination on Sunday. And hopefully it's uh, okay. And uh, the family is good. Uh, and uh, a quick update on the Earns Apple Challenge, right? So... This is the story of the Earth's Apple Challenge. Essentially, you want to replicate or re really, you want to walk in the footsteps of that great manager, Ernst Apple, who won the European Cup with two different clubs. Uh, what do you want to do? You start out in a 3.5 reputation league, right? Um, the whole, you, you are meant to stay in a 3.5 reputation league for quite a while. But your first job in your first, with your first club is to win the domestic cup. And within seven seasons, attract the attention of a club that has got a bigger reputation within that league and then go on to win the league title. So, in order for you to move on to stage uh, three, which is still in um, that country, you, or rather, stage three, you can leave that country, right? So, in stage one, you win the domestic cup. Stage two, you win the league title. Now, I have already done both. Technically speaking, <laughs> I have still, I have to now win the league, right? So, even though I've already won the league, I still need to win the league with this second club, uh, which is a very interesting challenge because, uh, yeah, it's like trying to beat my own club. And then after that, I can move on to other clubs uh, in other leagues and I can then safely say my time in Turkey is done and I'm never coming back <laughs> because I, I find Turkey very, very annoying. As a league, the league has got these um, rules. One of those rules is the under-23 rule. They've got this youth rule, which even Turkish fans uh, find annoying because when they want to manage their clubs, they have to have three youngsters in their senior team. The only time those rules don't apply is when they go to Europe. Unfortunately, it also means that they end up signing internationals who or foreigners who come to Turkey, but those foreigners have to be brought on like... Uh, after the first five minutes of a, you know, a league game. So it makes, it makes no sense. So you start with a youngster. Five minutes later, you tell the youngster, thanks for your cameo, kid. Now you can go back. And the kid goes like, all right, I was here only to run out for five minutes. And then he goes off and then you bring on the foreigner. Yeah, that seems to be the way everybody does it. I tried it differently by developing my youth, making sure that uh, they were good enough to be in the first team. It took me a while, but we managed to do it. Kashim Pasha became a rock star uh, with some really solid youth players. And now we are going to get a chance to find out what our Besiktas team is like. Now, I've just joined Besiktas. So this will be interesting. Here we are. This is the club. We are now the manager of Besiktas. As you can see my profile. Uh, so far, I've been preferring a possession-based style of play, wanting a high-tempo pressing game. With uh, That's my style of play. And uh, the, the press are more used to seeing my assistant, which is true. I hardly ever do press conferences. I, I, I find press conferences to be... Honestly, 
Yeah, no, let's not talk about press conferences. I can go on about all the bugs that drive me nuts in the game. Uh, press conferences, I don't, they don't have a bug per se, but they're just repetitive and I just don't like repetition. Um, speaking, then why do I play this game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, in terms of our res the schedule, as you can see, um, they didn't have a very good start to the season. Um, they made it, I mean, Champions League qualifying path they got knocked out in the very first round. They were very... Un the third qualifying round, they played Benfica. Holy cow. I mean, seriously, you want to qualify for the Champions League, you got to play Benfica. Ouch. I mean, we were... Oh, man. Kashim Pasha. I mean, let's look at Kashim Pasha, right? This is the club I left. Okay, so this is the club I left. And since I've left... Right, so when did... My last game was here. Gaziantep. I left. The moment I got offered a job, I, I I jumped, right? So I actually quit the job and I left the club. I left them without a manager. They were a ship without a captain. And they quickly ran aground against Fenerbahce 3 1 and then they lost to Kesarispo. Now, I'm still keeping my tabs on this club because, you know, we've got Joey there. He's still playing. Doku, the two Dokus are in, but they've changed their formation to a 4 1 4 1. Yunos is still there. Alkan, Aydin, Volkan, Alperet, Ahmed, and Serrano. If I'm looking at this team, generally, it's the same starting lineup right, that the AI has been using. But it's gone to a 4-1-4-1. Fenerbahce, we ended with a 4-3-3. Kashim Pasha just fell apart. Because I find that when you're an underdog, don't defend. <laughs> don't play defensively if you're an underdog because you're going to get hammered. So... Um, it's not something that, that I, you know, I, I advocate. So there we go. Three defeats in a row. See Skashim Pasha still top of the table, but their lead has been whittled down to just a point. They're just a point behind Fenerbahce and they had a point behind um, Beshikta. So I came in here. Karasirispo. So I took them to the Turkish Cup quarterfinal. I mean, I took them through the Turkish Cup quarterfinal. So they've got this striker called Asali. The reason why I'm doing all this is because I've forgotten everything I needed to know about this team. I've been playing Nottingham Forest the last couple of days, right? I've been so obsessed with my Nottingham Forest save that I've completely forgotten anything or anything related to this team in one way or another. So we've got, this is the top scorer, Roger Asali, the Ivorian. Now, his stats indicate that he's got acceleration and agility. So he's one of those strikers that likes to, you know, explode out into space and score a goal. And as an advance forward, he's like the best guy in the club. I mean, like, you know, uh, I think in terms of the rest of the squad, there isn't very much to pick from. Uh, so we managed to, as you can see, our Besiktas beat K Sarespor 2-1, 1-4-7, We negotiated that result pretty, pretty okay. We, were, uh, we went through. And then my next match was against Alte. I'm looking at this because I'm also trying to remind... Also, I played this formation with LT. Why am I playing these formations? Please tell me why. I don't like this kind of formations. I don't know what came over me. I must have come up... I must have done a... I must have done some... I think a reason why I play a back five like this is because I was not sure about this team. Now, this is kind of a safe setup in Football Manager. If you want to set it up, you, you end up with... Uh, you, you do well to get like 51% possession, which is kind of amazing. Because most of the time, you struggle. So we got off to really... Oh, wow. This is a nice early start. Ooh, baby. Against Alte, we scored a really quick goal. I have to watch this all over again. It will give me an idea of what I did. Oh, slow down, Mickey Mouse. We got to slow this boy down. Okay, let's go back, boys. Let's go back. Let's see how this goal occurred by slowing things down. Let's go all the way back. Let's go all the way back. There's no point. Oh, scroll kick off. Not bad. Mukai hit out to whatever his name is. We have to remember his name. Ostunali, CK. There we go. Roger in the box. Oh. What a take. What are the defenders doing? They were just hanging about. Mukai hit, Karaspo, Ostunali. My goodness, these, these defenders have turned their backs on the, the attack, man. They're not defending. No wonder we won so easily. Oh, what a rocket from outside the box. Unsighted, right, for the goalkeeper. So he probably didn't see the ball. Uh, our next match was X. 
Aksaspor. 5 nil win. Again, using the same formation, got off to some quick early goals. Asale scoring a hat trick, and he's actually one of the top, could be the top scorer or leading the league in goals. So we got a penalty, and now we're in super. Why, why doesn't this game just remember what speed you were watching the highlights on? It's particularly annoying. That was another goal. So looks like uh, we dominated this game. Ridwa to Aitak. Aitak brings the ball, slides it over to Asale, and then he slots one in. He slots home the goal. Ostunali, Asale, Amir, Ridwan. What a pass! Okay, whatever this formation was, we hope you saved it. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Okay, this is our squad. So, have I done anything in terms of training? No, nothing. I haven't bothered with training, right? So, this is all the same training sessions that the previous go uh, uh, manager had. The only thing, if I yeah, we've done complete training. Have we done any mentoring? Oh, I think I've done mentoring. Yeah, I sorted the mentoring out. No, this is very organized of me. I'm impressed. Daljit, you've done well. If this is a game changer episode. So, this is my tactic. Wow. Let's try and disassemble this, right? Box to box, CAM and support, why would I do this? Because I was banking on some guy to run it with his attributes, okay? All right, and his traits. Then we got, so this is my last group I probably played with. Ridvan, defender, wing back on the left. Wow, he's fast. CK. He's okay, he's not too bad. Huh? That's fast. Mukahed. Oh my goodness. Yes. No wonder we have a halfback. Okay. <laughs> now I understand why I have a halfback. Okay. We got... So we we put on the useless players here. <laughs> or at least one of them. And then we go like, okay, we can leave. The, we can, uh, you know, we can hope for the best in front. Okay. Now I get... Now I understand what I've done. Now I understand what I've done. Okay. 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 The, 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 the wheels are churning up here. Right. The wheels are churning. Okay, so hello there, man. Chris, how are you? Triple X. Can I play a Traquatista if it has all the necessary attributes, but only half a staff or roll ability? Now, do you know what half a staff or roll at ability means? It means that he doesn't have enough attributes for the role. That's what it actually means. Compared to the rest of the players in your team, it means that he's okay as a Traquatista. Now, this is the important thing about playing roles, right? You need to look at the attributes you need for the way you play, right? So if you're looking at him dropping back and him getting into the box, then you're looking for work rate, you're looking for stamina. So you, you got to ask yourself, how do you want him to play? And this is one of the single toughest things for most people when they play the game. But I would try him out. If does low roll ability mean poor decision making? No, it does not mean poor decision making. And no, 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 it does not. No, 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 no. Don't go, don't go there. Don't go there. It's like, like, because absolutely nothing to do with roll ability. Roll ability is just an algorithm in the game that displays how good he is at that role and that position relative to the rest of the players in your team. Now, remember this. It does not only show the attributes for the role. It also accounts for his positional familiarity as well. So sometimes you might even get a player who's great. He looks great in terms of his attributes, but he hasn't been playing in that position for, like he's never played in that position. So your role ability, that little um, bar, is going to take a hit. So just try him out. If he has the attributes for it, go ahead, right? If he doesn't, then, you know, with more training, he might get the attributes. But generally, you just look at the movement and see what you get. Because sometimes, I play Traquatistas in lower leagues. And, like, we all know how rich those guys are with the attributes. So, you know, if I can get away with it in lower leagues, I'm sure you can too. Uh, okay, so, what are we going to do now? Mickey Mouse? I'm nervous as hell, <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm going to revert to the... I'm definitely going to this patch because I don't know my players. I'm going to depend on my ass, man. Like, hey, who do you think is good enough? This is what I want them to play because I don't think our team is good enough. Recommend some players for me. And my ass man is going to turn around and say, well, I think this guy can, this guy can. As far as all this is concerned, as far as training is concerned, I don't care right now, right? I'm too... Conf I'm. Uh, yeah, maybe I should care. 
you see, this is the thing about min-maxing the game, right? You want to min-max the game, min-max it all the way. So look at your tactic, um, positions. The ideal thing is, the, the easiest way of doing this is to train them in the positions you want your pl players to play. That's the easiest, right? That assumes you only play one formation for the whole season. But I am a very annoying person because I keep changing tactics. So it doesn't really help my cause very much. So uh, I need to kind of play a kind of a setup where, okay, these attributes will be good for him, right? He, he may have to re he may have to learn a new position, so I might be able to swap him to a new position. And when I do something like that, then I think about a bigger, more holistic picture. So let's uh let's do trading for these guys first up. Because we gotta have to sort all this out. Alright, sons. Yeah, baby. Go sweeper keeper. Life is simple. When it comes to goalkeepers, every single goalkeeper in my game is a sweeper keeper. You know why? Because I like them all to come out of the box, you know what I mean? <laughs> because tell me how many of you out there actually play with a low defensive line? Like, you know, you never you don't attack. Like almost everybody in the community plays an attacking style of football, right? Very few of you actually sit back. And um, when you uh, when you play that, those kind of formations, you tend to play with higher defensive lines, which means that your keeper should come out and mop up if, the, if there's an urgent need to. And that's why I recommend sweeper keeper and support as a, a trading for every single keeper. Now, then you are looking at things like improving the distribution because these guys are going to be at the back. They're going to be kicking the ball, right? So they're going to be playing with their feet. So first touch, distribution, those kind of things are pretty handy. So what we can do is we can come in here. You can do distribution, kicking and throwing, which is long, or you can do it short, right? First touch, passing and vision, right? Both we, both are ideal. The other one that I like to do is uh, reactions, which works on reflexes, anticipation and concentration. All, any one of these three, uh, suitable. So what I normally do is I look at my keeper. In his particular case, reflexes are pretty decent at 16. Or for, for Turkey, this is not bad, right? So what I will do with him is improve his first touch because he's going to have to take control of the ball before he just redistributes the ball, right? So we go to this. So we give all the keepers this. It makes life a lot more easier. Then I don't have to look at the others. I'm so, I feel so bad for the rest of the players. Like you know, I'm not interested in looking what you what you have to what you have to offer. What skin use this default, brother? This default. I have the base dark skin, but because I play draft so much, and draft mode, they reload the skin, and sometimes the ID runs. Okay. And then you have to restart the game or sometimes worst case scenario you have to restart the whole damn machine so i decided to stick on uh, just the default skin to make us happy that's sad for me man viper undo i just sent one of my players off on loan to kashim pasha i've left kashim pasha viper i'm no longer there i'm in Bashiktas, brother you should have sent him to Bashiktas. why didn't you contact me earlier man i'm in Bashiktas, brother no longer the manager of Kashim Pasha. We have left. We are on our, we are on our right, uh, leg to you know win the title in Arrivederci, Turkey. Okay, we've got him. Okay, we got we are playing this tactic right now, which has got um. Okay, let's look at our tactic. So we basically playing this. Wow, I'm playing inverted wing, but I am bold. Okay, so okay, so this is gonna be fun. Okay. So Levin Ostunali, didn't he play, didn't he go get up the pitch and score fantastic goals from here? Wasn't he playing here? Yeah, he was playing here. All right. Okay, so we got to trade him not as a wing back because now um, it makes no sense that he's a wing back. So we'll just put him up the pitch and, you know, attack him if you're the right, get him to be an inside forward, ask him to work on attack, get him to work on... I noticed as well, he can't score to save his life. Hugo's Hugo. Well, fullback attack is fine, but generally when I play this kind of wing back base systems, I'll just go wing back support. Um, let's look at his attributes. Here we go. Well, he's got good acceleration, poor balance. That means that running at full speed, turning, turning, not very good for him. Um, balance is an attribute. You can mouse over this, right? How well a player can stay on his feet both on and off the ball, right? You know, sometimes when the ball 
you get those balls in the air and you want him to win the second ball. And sometimes you see the animation, he just like, he, he struggles a bit. Right, you know, he lost, he, he shifts and he's in the wrong position. The other player just gets around him. That's because those players have bad balance, right? So, this, this guy is on the flank, so he's got to start working on this. For the rest of his life, he will, he will, he will retire working on balance, on his balance. Red one, Yilmaz, fantastic acceleration. Oh my goodness. Now, here, because I'm probably playing inverted wing back, he's on the left, so he's most likely my inverted wing back. So we're going to come in here. We're just going to ask him to be an inverted wing back. You can also train him as a complete forward. There's no issue with doing that. You don't have to train him specifically as an inverted wing back because the complete wing back has got composure. Right, so he's got a lot of nice uh, attributes as well. Um, the only thing he doesn't have is vision. And this is the reason why I think I've told some of you to go download my playmaking fullback schedule if you want to create a tactic that exploits the inverted wing back to its full glory. Because you want this vision attribute to stay, to maintain, to maintain and go higher. But when they are fullbacks, the training, right, for when they're in the unit, the defensive unit, it doesn't have vision, right? So vision is going to be one of those attributes that gets redistributed and I don't want it to get redistributed. So typically what I would do is I would come to my training if I have a heavy wing back base system like this. Okay. Then I'll import my, I hope I have it, man. Because I had to redo, I had to like kick out all my files the other day because of the need for me to go and do all this all over again right now. I have to clear the cache and everything else. First of because I was playing I was playing this uh game draft I was playing draft mode. So let's hope I have the schedules here. In the older ones, complete training, lower league, LZB, playmaking, fullback for sporting and then we can use the FM21. Okay done. Confirm save. Yela you real beautiful thing you you beautiful thing you you're here all right we come in here now we go in here and then we will alternate it right so we've got complete training here complete training i'm gonna i'll just give it one whole week okay so we do playmaking here and we'll do playmaking here so he does this so as you can see from this this vision uh there is crossing dribbling finishing long shots anticipation off the ball for this three and then all these have, these two have vision, right? There we go. This is vision. This works on the first touch, passing, tackling, anticipation. So it's a very balanced session, which works on, which works on all those things. Now this the reason why I have transition press is also because the attacking unit gets is like you know it's good for the attacking unit. The defensive unit where he is in, is a 40-40 split, right? So fullbacks get the benefit of both of these. Whereas here, this is a defensive unit. This is entirely for the fullback. This is entirely for the fullback. All right, so this is a very... Uh, I like this session. It's very balanced. Okay, good. We've got our playmaking fullback. We've got complete. And then we'll come in here. And then we'll do another complete. And we're done. Sorted. That's my training. <laughs> so simple. Thank you, SI. Please don't change the training module for FM22 because I don't want to redo this. <laughs> Please make it... A, I love training. Trainings are no-brainer right now, man. It works all the way. I don't have to do anything. It's so easy. Okay, red one, Yilmaz. Okay, so we come back in here. It's on support. What does he need? What are the main... I mean, you don't want to... Okay, generally when it comes to training, right? I like to not add, but supplement... Uh, I don't like to add, but I like to... Uh, like, if he's already doing... Getting uh, benefits from, like, uh, decisions, right? Then I like to just keep it there, right? I don't like to go and add another set of attributes. That is, there are too many attributes. Uh, then it's more like stabilizing him. Uh, okay, so he, if I come in here, he's training. Decision making is something I want him to do. All right, so he's already he's already working on this. So I think it's here off the ball anticipation decisions or marking positioning and decisions. Now, which one of these two is going to be better for him? His positioning isn't that bad. His marking is good, right? So there's 14 for marking. Um, his positioning is 14. This is really good for a fullback. It's like way up there as bloody hell. This is Premier League standard. So we're going to do off the ball. It's 12. Anticipation is 14. Gee, this guy is so good. Holy guacamole. This guy is good, man. 
Okay, why don't we just double up on composure then? Composure is easy. It's here. Where's composure? See one of these. I remember there was composure. Ah, there we go. Composure and decisions. So this, I don't create a new category, right? So I don't, I don't like add on. This is, this is not too bad. Uh, I don't, I don't look for physical attributes, man. I look, physical attributes is great to have. Like I have a, I basically have a baseline for physical attributes, right? Okay. But I will always sign mentals first because they take the longest to go up, in my opinion. Physical attributes for most players, by the time they're 22, 23, you'd have peaked. But mental attributes, because there's a timeline, right? Right. So players get better over age. So I always go for mentals first. If he's got very good mental attributes, it's brilliant. So that's how always be my go-to. And yeah, it's the best method that I find. It depends on other people. Everybody has different ways to play. Can you explain the idea behind vertical tiki taka and how my Oh yeah, sure. Vertical tiki taka is pretty straightforward, right? Okay, let's go. Molten cycle. Okay, let's just clear this. Can I do it like this? Yeah, there we go. Vertical tiki taka. So I've taken my molten cycle, right? Uh, let's just ignore auto duties here. Um, so essentially a vertical tiki taka system plays very, very narrow like this. So the idea here is, you see, this is, a, this is one of those myths that has been going on in the forums a long time, right? In the community as well. Very narrow just means this. The priority is to look inside for your past. Players are closer together. That's it, right? So that's all it does. So first, the players are closer together. So the, the distance between your full left fullback and your right fullback isn't that far away. So it's like sometimes the width of the, the penalty area. Secondly, it also tells your boys, pass inside. Don't look out for the first pass. Look inside for the first pass. So that's what vertical tiki taka does. So vertical tiki taka also emphasizes everybody, you know, um, moving up the pitch very quickly using the flanks. But... Not to run off the flanks and then send one long pass, but for them to do wall passes. To do wall passes effectively, you need the underlap, right? Or the overlap. But in this case, the underlap, because everybody's running inside anyway, so you're looking for those runs inside, so use underlaps. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons. And that's how a 4-3-3 setup would look like with the vertical tiki taka. This is, if I was doing vertical tiki taka, then probably this guy, yeah, inverted winger is fine. But you're looking for inside runs, like a central midfield on attack, an inside forward on attack, Wingbacks are uh, bombing down the flanks and you have attack duties inside running. So that's how it, it you can always just come in here and just use the the uh the um preset tactic. Now the preset is just to be careful, right? You don't need this. <laughs> you probably don't need this. Uh there are a lot of pre there are a lot of stuff you don't need, okay? Yeah, this is a bit of an overkill. For me, I personally would just probably go a bit higher tempo because I mean, vertical tiki taka slow pace don't make no sense to me, right? So I'll probably come shorter, higher tempo. And then here, take short kicks. Do you need to do this? Probably this overkill, this is overkill. And then um, we keep this and this. This prevent short goal keeper distribution. Again, this is situational. If you are playing a high again pressing style where you want to just put pressure on the back line and never let them out, then yes, this will be this will be applicable. Another thing is, do you need play out of defense? Not necessarily. If you have a DM, DLP here, you don't need one. You go ball playing defender here, you don't need one. So play out of defense is so potentially not even necessary. Right? So, yeah, this is how we set it up. What is the purpose of focus play? Basically, when you're narrow, you play focus play. Focus play also tells your players to come closer with, to support the play. So what will happen is your wide midfielders will come inside to support the central midfielders. So you focus play left, your Central midfielders will move out to support the wingers. So that's what focus play does now. So that's basically it. Hello, Irvan. How are you, man? I just joined the live stream, even though I don't have a PC, nor do I play FM. Your videos are well structured and concise. They're non FM. Oh, man. Thank you very much. Wow. That's such a compliment, man. Thank you very much. Hey, what am I doing? I'm supposed to continue. <laughs> I was supposed to load something. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. I really, really, it's so heartwarming when somebody says that. That they, are, they don't own the Game Football Manager. They don't have a computer. And they watch my content because it's it's informative. Wow, that's so cool, man. That is so cool. Okay, Matteo Lovato, Demi Lovato's boyfriend. 
<laughs> Holy cuck. Oh, a brother rather, not boyfriend. How can you have a boyfriend as your brother? What's wrong with you? LJ is such an idiot today. Okay. All right. Lovato, you sweet thing. You come here. Ay, ay, ay. He needs tackling, man. But you don't have tackling here, right? So you don't have this. No tackling, right? So what I normally do when they don't have tackling, I, that's one of the reasons why my train schedule is pumping with tackling inside here. So what I will do with this player is I just look at to see how his game can improve. And the best way he can improve is because I'm playing only two defenders at the back, right? <laughs> Everybody's pushed up so high. So we do first touch. Where's first touch? Where is first touch? Uh, first touch is one of these. I've forgotten where first touch was. Where did I find first touch? Ball control. There we go. Okay. Milos, same problem. Also first touch, right? So we tell him to do ball control. First touch. Ball playing defender. So now they all are being trained in my system. Now, because I'm playing this tactic, this is a very aggressive tactic. But what, what do you think I need with this tactic? You see, this is what you ask yourself all the time when you do this kind of things. I need this guy to come back and defend really quickly. Okay, So if he gets lost in traffic, I'm in trouble. So we come here. This fullback defend is completely useless. It's totally useless. It's not going to help me in any way for him to develop attributes that are going to be useful for me. Right, I need him to be able to pass the ball. I need to be able to control the ball because he ain't got he's he's got no no one to help him out. But he does all this, which is ridiculous. Gets forward whenever possible. Yeah, with low first touch and low dribbling, that's a damn good idea, man. Cross ball past the opponent. Yeah, he kicks the ball because he can't dribble. So once he kicks the ball past an opponent, he runs as quickly as he can and he and he tries to pass it with his seven passing. Oh my god. Oh boy. We are in trouble. Okay, wing back support. So now he has to work on all these attributes, I, which I actually needed for this uh, role. Okay. And and this, these traits are just... Uh, so whenever he plays, I got to be very careful. So here, what we want to do is, there's something called passing, which works on passing, vision, and technique. Because he has got poor passing, he's got poor technique as well, right? Vision is fine. So it's either this or we do ball control, which is first touch dribbling and technique. But because his passing is so shite, okay, we'll focus on passing. Oh, this is like a training video, man. That Singlish Singaporean is... Yes, I am from Singapore. I was born in Kandang Kerba Hospital. <laughs> I have spent all my life, brother, in Ge... No, in Gilam. Huh? Gilam. <laughs> That would be the wrong part of Singapore to spend all your life in. I know a friend of mine who spent most of his life, most of his life with boogies. But you know, Gila, no, no, no. I grew up, I grew up in uh Thompson near Macritchie Reservoir. Uh spent the better part of my entire life on the east coast of Singapore. So I'm yeah. Katong boy. So I live in Katong. Used to live in Katong. Now I'm now I'm in Sarawak with my wife. Stuck here because of COVID. <laughs> Say la vie, brother. Okay, so we got Defender Center. Hey, Risky, how are you, brother? How are you, man? You doing well? I hope you're doing well. Low blocks must be the nemesis of this style. Hmm. When you have a low block for, against a vertical tiki-taka, learn how to drink. Okay, the problem with low, vertical tiki-taka is this, right? Boom, 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 boom. You go all the way up the pitch, right? And you're trying to penetrate a team and everybody's stacked like this. Like, shoulder to shoulder, no? Like, hey, let's try and dribble our way through this box. We've got 22 players within a penalty box. Let's try and do one touch passing there. It doesn't make any sense, right? So, this is the bane of uh, the vertical tiki-taka system. Now, the vertical tiki-taka is very, very good if you've got very fast players, right? You play whip crosses, very good acceleration. That's why it has underlaps because it needs players who are very, very fast, like inside forward. So, they're going to run inside. So, you play the whip cross, you beat the line, you get behind it. So, how do you do that? You drop your line of engagement. So you don't always play maximum line of engagement. The other thing you want to do as well is think of defending narrow. When you defend narrow, you allow the opposition to come down your flanks. But because you're going to go two, 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 two up the pitch, right? you got space on the counter. So that's one thing you can do. The second thing you can do is whenever you face a system that's got double DM system, then what you might want to consider is actually increasing your width and using the full width of the pitch. So you can you can switch play from one end of the pitch to the other end of the pitch. So your players come to one side of the very Bayern Munich style of play, right? So 
what they do is they they keep the ball on one side of the pitch, right? They stretch the game and then they do one diagonal to the other side where there's an inside forward coming in unmarked to score. So that's the other option here. All right, team. Karim, Karim, Kafalat. Defender the right. Can I? Technique. Another one that needs help. So we've done that. NCB defend. Okay. This one is a waste. Total waste of time. Okay. Whatever it is in your life, don't ever trade anybody. Is this like you're telling a defender you've got absolutely no chance of becoming a good player? I mean, seriously. I mean, no matter how bad a player is, right? Okay, he's unregistered. So we'll just... Why am I trading an unregistered player? Because, you know, oh, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell you. Okay, this is going off tangent. I'm so sorry. Okay, I joined this club, right? I got... This is not my fault, huh? <laughs> This is not my fault. I'll tell you now. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> when I joined the club, I accepted the contract. I, I, I went for the meeting with the chairman. I signed on the other line. Confident that this club knows what they're doing because they are Besiktas, right? So I signed, okay, yeah, baby. I can't wait to meet your squad. I go into the team meeting room. Eight of them are walking out with their packs already. Their bags already packed for their holiday trip to Phuket. Like, like, dude, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah, I'm off to Phuket, brother. Sorry, we're not registered for the league. Huh? Where are the rest of my players? You got those 15 players there? Those are your players tomorrow. So this is what I've ended up with. I got this whole bunch of players. Winston Abu Bakar, not registered. Okay. So I can understand why some of these are not registered. But there's one player here I was like kicking. I wanted to kick this club to the moon. No? Yeah. Some of these players are good. Not registered. Values 3.7 million. And his contract is until the year 30th of June 2028. So I was so pissed when I started this. Is all these players I can't use. It's like tying one hand behind. I mean, literally, they gave me this game. <laughs> so I've joined this club, right? So literally, you see this? This is literally my entire team. If, yeah, if I drop this, Okay. okay, see, I, we don't have to touch the mouse wheel, okay, to scroll. Normally, we can scroll, we see our whole squad, right? That's my whole squad. I have to work with this group to win the title. Hey, BK Eater, how are you, brother? You hope you're doing well. Draft board, draft board, draft board. Let's talk draft later. Okay. So we, we got a training. Let's just sort out their training first. So here we go. I mean, we'll just quickly do this so we can play a match. AP support. Emiran, isn't this guy the one at the center of the park? Yeah. So total waste of time. I got two central midfielders I'm using. This is not being worked on. I'm not going to use him. So we want something that works on both these attributes. So I, box to box is very generic. That's a problem. Carrillo is very safe, but he doesn't have too many attributes, but it's a good starting point, right? Okay. So this is a decent starting point. His bravery is not going to improve. This mental, at physical attributes, looking at his age, let's look at his age. 30, 23 years old. This is a bad idea. Okay, let's go back to him. Uh, where's the A? Carrillo. It's not a good idea to do that. Hmm. Eh? Central midfielder, what can we do? I mean, honestly, I always default to this for central midfielders. Mazala support is my favorite training schedule for any midfielder. It's like the default I have for every single midfielder. So it doesn't matter whether you're an attacking midfielder, you're a defensive midfielder, whatever. This is the default for almost every single midfielder I have in my team. Because it covers all the important attributes. You got acceleration, it's got balance, anticipation, composure, decisions. Off the ball, vision will create. If you want positioning, it's really easy. Just come in here, do defensive positioning. He gets marking, positioning, and decisions. That's it. You've got a nice little mix. Right? So in this particular case, he's gonna have to improve his tackling as well. So this is good. Uh strength is not necessary. We can improve his quickness, so I don't know how much that's gonna improve. Um Composure and decision making, 14 and 17, doesn't need it. Shooting, he's not going to come into the box to score goals, but I need him to distribute the ball. So, passing, vision, and decision is still very good. So, we'll just work on his defensive positioning. Doesn't need that. It's 12. Marking, maybe. Yeah, okay, that, that's, that can that can help. Okay. Marking goes up. But that's like six points, right? Okay. This is when you have to 
go back in and tell yourself you being I'm I'm being an idiot. Because you have a finite amount of attributes and you want to take six to ten. That's four attribute points that you've lost. They could have gone somewhere else. So we're not gonna do that. No, no, no. This is that's a bad idea. Okay, so we are going to get him to off the ball anticipation decisions. That's very good. Final third. Composure and decisions. Mm, that's good already. Passing. Vision passing and technique. Okay, that can work. Yeah. Okay, vision passing and technique. This guy's got all the makings of an excellent playmaker. Alright. Alright, then we've got uh Itech Ozdemir in with the winger. So we'll just change a few of them. We don't have to do all of them. But this is not a big group of players, right? So this is not gonna take us very long. Emir Aslan. 13, striker. Hmm. Okay. Uh, winger. No, I don't do wingers. Wingers are boring. Right-footed. Uh, we'll just trade him to be an inside forward. On the, is, it, is he playing on the left or the right? Right. Um, trading. Reasonable, very strong. Okay. Life is boring, son. You go and learn how to play on the left side. Okay, that's it. You know, start trading here. And then we'll give you shooting. Okay. Alright, so that we have one more. And then we've got this guy. Didn't I just change him to invert? Did I change him to winger? Or was it? No, it's not winger, sorry. I want him to be an inverted winger on the tank. Okay, done. Uh, this is fine. Mm, wing back support is fine. Ball playing defender, ball playing defender. DLP support. Why would I have your DLP support? No, no, no. Come off DLP support. Don't waste time. Come here to Mazala. Mazala attack. Okay, done. Um, attribute Toze. What does he need? Passing, vision, decisions. Mm, okay. Balance. Okay, so we'll come in here. Agility and balance. Done. Uh, George Kevin Ondoku on the right on this is this, this is a no brainer. He's an in, in he's an inside forward. Coming in from the left, right? So inside forward attack. And then he needs to improve his finishing. Yeah. Okay. So we come in here, get him to work on his shooting. Okay. Red one Yilmaz. This guy we already done him, right? No, complete win by support final third. Uh, that's it. Okay. So, after all that work, you better see. This game does crash. This game does crash. So, we've got our setup done. We are now going to pray to the gods that this tactic that I somehow or another decided on works. So, guys, the Wasted Possession draft is tonight at 7 p.m. I think the finals, the Wasted, the wasted Possession uh, playoffs, right? They have this draft mode competition. They're going to be on Twitch tonight. I think it's uh, 7 p.m. London, which is about 4 a.m. Singapore. To all those Singapore hits. Yes, I will be taking part in more draft mode competitions. Only because I want to get, you know, I want to, um, I want to get, it's like being beaten up by other people. Yes, I enjoy being beaten up by other people. Punching back for the society. We need to have some jokers in the community, you know? You know? Halftime comedic relief. That's what I provide. I mean, have you ever seen a person get injured while streaming football? Football manager? Yes, this was one of them. Literally needed an injection between my, uh, my before my quarterfinal match. Because I, I celebrated so hard, I pulled a muscle. Oh man. Seriously, I laugh at myself all the time. What stage of a player's condition do you consider resting them, taking them out of starting 11? Before they actually have the RST symbol on them. But I've got no choice, right? My players are just going to be like that. So essentially what you want to do is, for youngsters, okay, generally when you only have youngsters, right, you want to rotate them quite a lot. So you're basically looking at uh, rotating them as much as you can. So you're playing them like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, not 15, like you play them for like 45 to 
maybe 60 minutes and then you take them off. So you have to, in order for you to avoid the need for resting players, you have a good rotation policy. And then those players who have to play every single game, you give them a break, right? Once in a while, you bring somebody on, uh, you give other players a chance. That's the best way to handle this issue that you're talking about. Otherwise, you're gonna have you're gonna run into problems. If you want to play your best eleven as much as possible, you're gonna run into trouble quite a lot. You're gonna have injuries. So everybody wants to play the best eleven, but sometimes you have to take them off. So the best way to do it is to have a rotation policy. So once you take, so this means that you have to win games by the seventy fifth minute mark, right? So you have to put yourself in a position where you can bring them off. And there's no other way to do that. You cannot... The other alternative is to have a tactic that's low intensity. So you play high intensity, which is what most people do. Then you drop to a low intensity tactic. Maybe you want to drop your pressing, um, your line of engagement, that kind of thing. So when you play with a high line of engagement, high defensive line, then you tend to have these kind of issues. So you can play a tactic which has got a lot of support duties, but then you're changing your tactic, right? sometimes that doesn't really work out so if you have players on the pitch and you want to maintain the 11 then you have to master the art of changing the intensity of your tactics so that you don't have to rotate so it's either one of the two you can't have your cake and eat it too you have to choose which one you're more comfortable doing the easiest one is rotation the harder one is changing the intensity of your tactic go dance by what is this this guy is an inside forward I should have put the left and the right foot here, so I don't want to keep doing this. Uh, left foot. So, right side, inside, forward. Everybody go shoot, shoot goals. We need goals, man. So, situation as we stand, right? In the Turkish League, our striker is leading the shooting charts. Because we did get a hat-trick in the last game, so, yeah. So, here we go, man. Turkish Cup semi-final coming up as well. We play Galatasaray. Alfo, how are you, man? How's, how's things for you, brother? Haven't heard from you in a long, long time. You have got MIA. Completely MIA. You're one of the first few used to be used to play draft with. And now you've gone. I hope, you, I hope you're well, man, Alfo. Miss you a lot. We miss you, brother. <laughs> Please come home. Please come back. What's that? Please don't go, right? Huh? Yeah. Okay, Super League, Bursa Sport. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do this. Where is Bursa Sport in the... in the... in the scheme of things, right? Mm. Fifty to one. Now? Six, seven, twelve. They lost to Kashim Pasha. They lost to Besiktas away. So we are playing. Okay. Oh, they, okay, so we're playing them, but how did they lose to us? Okay, all right. This is going to be charging. Look at that, man. Besiktas, last season's champions. My, my vision is kind of crazy, right? Look at this, right? Champions Club not judging, Euro Cup not judging, Super League challenge for the Super League. So they're expecting me to, you know. Then Turkish Cup reached the minimum. So minimum is reached the final. And I've got to put in a good show. Uh oh, no, 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 don't select it. Oh yeah, I can, we can select the team, right? It's not the end of the world, right? The next page. Hit quick, quick. <laughs> Seriously, I just hit quick, quick because I don't know. I have absolutely no clue this, who these players are. Barat. Oh, Barat means something, man, in lo the local dialect. What is this? Who's this guy? Mukahid. Man, seriously, you come here. <laughs> okay, you go there. <laughs> this inverted wing will protect this side as well. Okay. All right, we put Barat here. Barat means he's kind of over overweight. <laughs> in the local dialect, Barat means heavy, right? So when somebody's... This thing is heavy, you also have to ask yourself whether, you know, he's heavy on the pitch as well. Okay, we got all these. I mean, it's like not as if I got much of a choice. All these players are unregistered, so I've got like, okay, fine. It's the first 11, that's about it. Okay, here we go, man. It's cool being able to ask a more experienced player. Oh, thanks. Yeah, but the, yeah, I, I, I will probably find a lot of people telling you the same thing. All right, so 
Come on, lad, show me what you can do to keep your run. We should be winning the one. No, no, don't ever say that. They'll lose. It's all over to you. No, that's why you, you're not, not interested. So, I fully explain the card. Yeah. I'm demanding. Emir Aslan, ye of no faith. You are unbeaten against. Shut up, send the assistant. <laughs> I'm too nervous for that. Oh, hey, hey, slow down, slow down. The audience does not handle your top speed when you're playing by yourself. Huh? So, you please bring it down a bit more. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let them watch the stats at halftime. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Tabi to Murad. Now I've got to figure out who's my team first. Okay, who, who's my who's my striker? Ansale, right? Okay, no, that's, doesn't I, I have no Olinga in my team. All right, there we go, Ansale. We are in red. Holy guacamole! We are under we are on the defense. Hey, Lovato. Is <laughs> maybe we can we can ask Demi Lovato to pen us a song because <laughs> we have all we have to tell her is we have a Lovato in our team too. Sounds stupid like hell. Okay. Alright, so we got Bashitas. Three pages of Bashitas. That's not going to be very helpful. Good. Ridwan to the keeper. Ershin. Kicks it long because we have no hope on passing the ball from the back. Okay. Ostunali. Come on. Ridwan. You beautiful thing you. Get pass. Give the ball. Yes. Mukahit. Nice ball. Ridwan, you got all the time in the world, Barat. You're a bloody useless piece of shit. You can't even jump in the air. No wonder he's called Barat. Barat means heavy in Malay, you know? <laughs> I had a funny feeling that was going to happen. I was looking at his name going, why is his name Barat? Barat in the local, in local Malay dialect, right? This in our region, means heavy. Oh, uh, dear Lord. This is getting corny. I don't need the visualizer. I just want the uh, short map. Thank you. Okay, we got a throw. Read one to Ostunali to Murat. Oh, place it to Olinga. Olinga. Oh, no. This is it. Okay, there's enough time to shut him up. Okay. Burak. Oh, nice clearance straight to our players. This is the time when we want to yell at them. How do you start with training intensity? Oh, is it the team training intensity? The, the, the squad? Yeah, I'll show it to you later. It's quite straightforward. Double intensity all the way until the last um, the last bar and it's normal intensity. Uh, I think so. Uh, I have to see it again. I have to do it one more time. Okay. Alright, switch. Oh, well, they're looking better now. Mm, I haven't seen the th I haven't seen the corners, right? Set piece corners. What do we have? Mm. <laughs> it's a good thing I came here. You know, what I mean, <laughs> I had a funny feeling. I haven't done the corners. Yeah, all right. This is a bit, a bit. Jumping is 16 again okay, coming. What's your jumping reach? 15, that's fine. What about you? 14. Why are you marking? Okay, we got you marking top player. What about you? 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 Okay, jumping is 11. It's not no, I don't have much of a choice. Alright, this is fine. What about this? We here. We here. We here. Okay. You go there. Fine. You create a new routine. Be here. Be here. Be here. Be here first. Be here. Short. Be here. Long. Be here. Be here. Dribbling six, okay. Um, job, you can stay here. You, hmm, you come back. All right. Done. 
Ah, where is the next forest? Uh, playthrough. I'm going to put up the playthrough next week, the next episode. And I couldn't get... I offered 38 million for the, the great T-Rex. But he doesn't want to come to the club now. He doesn't want to come because he just signed a new contract with the Belgian club. So I'm going to hang on to the great T-Rex. I got him on my, my radar, right? So I wait for him to play one season. I'm going to go in. I'm going back in with the... 38 million. I hope my club doesn't fire me because I didn't spend all my transfer money. Because they, they gave me this uh club vision, right? I've never had this club vision in my entire life, which was uh sp spend your transfer budget. <laughs> so I was like, what? Say what? You don't like you, you, you I'm like laughing and laughing and laughing. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna happen soon. Yeah. Come on, get the hitter. Oh man. Oh nice work. Emir Aslan with the ball brings it away. Okay. Ostunali comes inside, shoots. Uh, you waste time. Okay, let's try. So let's put up. Man, look, we we're dominating them, right? So that's that's good. I got players on the bench I can bring on can change the game. But let's see what we can do with this bunch. Especially is Muka hit. Muka is just a youngster based on the Turkish rules. We have to use youngsters here. So uh come on. Encourage the team. They're playing well. They just need a bit more. They just need a bit more. Um, Vesikta's formation. There we go. BBM, CM, half back, wing back, inverted wing back. This guy, does he have the traits? Okay, let's look at this. Uh, what do we have in terms of our players? I need to have an option. I need to go to the bench soon. In the second half. So I better start looking out for players that can change the game. Uh, okay, this guy can, definitely. So we might have to bring him on now. Okay, we're gonna bring him on. Okay, that's it. Because yeah, this this league has this rule, right? So you end up putting all your aces on the bench. Mr. Heavy, okay, you can Mr. This this is the youngster that's playing, so we can bring on Toze now. Toze can come on. He's a box to box. Or uh, let's cancel that first. Undo. There might be another play here. Amir is very fast. Guess what? Now, this is another option. But He's gonna he's gonna come into the box. That's the thing. Right. So Tozi is also another option. But, um, okay, I'm still getting to know this team, so I'll just put him. But right, what does he have? Marks opponent tightly, tries long range passes, likes to switch ball to wide areas. So he's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. How to go from comfortably winning the league to winning the Champions League? Um. If you are comfortably winning the league and you want to win the Champions League, then you're looking at basically you have to. If you're comfortably winning your league, it means that your players are really the best in that league, right? So now you have to either do it two ways. The first way is you go out there and get even better players so that you can, you know, not only comfortably win the league, but you can actually start winning the Champions League. That, but the problem in the Champions League is this your reputation isn't high yet right so you have not you're not a top league in top club in the land so your reputation has to go up and the only way it's going to go up is if you start winning games and winning the title so what you actually need to be doing is you need to be learning how to create tactics to play in the champions league your champions league approach has to be slightly different then so you're gonna have to you can't be using the same generally i find that it's better to have like a like a count a bit of a counter attacking style in the Champions League so that I can hit big clubs on the on the way out. I mean on the break. Like last year I think uh I did on Twitch, right, where I took a sporting side and I beat Liverpool and Manchester United. I beat Liverpool away by playing a strategy where I was marking their wingers from the start of the game to the end of the uh, to the, about the fiftieth, sixtieth minute, then they got yellow cards. Once the Fullbacks picked up the yellow cards. That's when I released my wingers and say, stop marking now, start running at them. And that's when we went to score those away goals and we kicked Liverpool out. That's the thing you have to master then. You know, you gotta, it's the AI. You gotta learn how to play the game. Like, you know, like, 
manage the team during the match. So that's how you're gonna have to go. Like, yeah, you gotta get you gotta get good with tactics. You gotta learn how to make certain changes in a game to extract full value. Okay, we got passed into space. Not really gonna help. We're gonna work ball into box since we're doing so well, right? We're gonna low cross. We're gonna patiently try and you know get to the front because we got so much domination. There's no real point in me trying to, you know, try to put those balls behind the line since they're not really coming out. So everything else is there. And I just have to maybe run a defense and draw a yellow card. Yeah, I'm going to draw it. I'm going to run a defense now. This could help because once they have one yellow card in one of those fullback positions, you see the player not going in to track so aggressively. Demi Lovato's brother. Ostunali, yes. Do a cutback, son. Oi, that's not a cutback, but it's good enough. Ah, now. Okay, come, come, come. One more. You're totally dominating. We just need to get the ball into the back of the net now. Jose inside the box shoots. Hey, come on, seriously. This is like shooting practice, man. Do we have other options on the bench? Emir is uh, inside forward on attack. Do we have Emir Delabas finishing 13, 12? No, no acceleration. This guy. 13, 11, 16, 14, still better than the guy on the bench. What about this I tech Ozdemir? Um, yeah. This guy is what? Right or left? Right footed. He's not going to really give us options scoring. Levin, right footed. Finishing it. You? Hey, you might as well come here. Okay, at least you are going to come in from this side of the pitch. Right footed. What about Ondulu? Oh, 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 you come back here. You come. All right. We brought uh, one of the seniors up. Okay. I got to get to know my players, right? That's the problem. I don't know my players yet. Oi. Come on, get there. Nice work from Barat. For once, he's not too heavy. Yeah, okay. Austin Hardy. Barat. So, Ridwan. Aye. What a waste of space. How to utilize a very fast winger with decent finishing. Um, decent finishing. Fast winger. You need to play with a system which has got space. Draws the opposition to you. So, like something like this. And then draw them in. And then try and hit them on the break. Then your fast winger can get behind the line. But this is not how I'm set up. I'm set up because I'm bottom heavy, right? So I want to be top. I want to put a, apply pressure, but I'm taking some risks now, drawing them, giving them space down the flanks, which I shouldn't be doing. Not with this time thing. So that's what you want to do. When do you? Do, why don't you use molten this year? Bought with a four. I seriously am bought with a four three three. It's like the easiest tactic to win football manager with. It's the easiest. Four three threes are so easy to win. Football manager with I, I just don't want to use them anymore. I mean, I'm not using them because I'm. I seriously am bored with a four three three. It's like the same thing. It's like the, you see this exactly the same goals all the time. It's like the Mazala will come into the box and score a goal. Yeah, I just got bored. I mean, I occasionally do play with it, but I rather play like something like this now. Or 4231 or 442. I'm obsessed with the 442 and the 424 because it's so different. The, right now, when I play the 424, it's like playing tennis. One moment we are attacking, the next moment we are defending. Hey man, where's the ball? <laughs> That's the 424 right now. Seriously, guys, is that we are really trying to unlock this side? That's it. I, I got no, no other changes to make. Uh, high tempo, wide, done that. I mean, the only other thing I can do is go even wider, go low my tempo, but that's not going to help. Yeah, that's it. I will just wait, right? 60, 60, 30. I mean, they're defending really well with the 4 2 3 1. See, they got the, the yellow cards already. So good. Now, that's what we did, right? We, wa we want to draw the yellow cards, right? So we got our two yellow cards. Left and right flank. Now, come on, come on. Now we fire them up. There's the fire up. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Barat. <laughs> Yellow card. I no. 
How are you setting? Oh, I'm doing okay. We are, we are trying to chase for the title. How are you, Ben Jahid? Erwan, you have a question. If I'm managing a lower league team, and I thought you didn't, you weren't playing football manager. And the team is not very technical or creative. I opt to play shorter passing the comments that will let me holding the team back. No, not really. Okay, let's take a look at, let's give you some examples of great teams that played short passing. Spain, when they won the Euros, they played short passing as well. Low tempo. So you're not, you're not, um, um, like, kind of new, nixing your own team, right? So what I'm trying to say is that you can still play short passing, fast tempo, um, play high up the pitch and move a team around and then um, score goals. You can still do that, yeah. Short passing isn't that bad. Okay, now what are we going to do? Oh man, now my players are tired. Because I've been playing high intensity in their half all the way. Offside. Hit it. Come on, ref. It's got to be offside. Yeah, it's offside. When you do mixed passing, okay, you have to remember in this game, short passing, and then you have roles like DLP, Mazala, Right, they don't do short passing all the time. They have mixed passing. So they have different passing ranges in them. So sometimes I play generic roles as well. Oi! Uh, picks up the ball. Look at that, man. I like this formation because it's defensively, it can be rock solid. I just have to, you know, get into positions to score. Today, our finishing has been quite poor. We've had many, many chances. Look at that. We have many chances to take this game. All right, we should have like done really well. It's our first draw. CK. <laughs> CK. Come on, deliver it to somebody's head. Oh, man. Disappointing draw. We are chasing for the title. My problem is this, right? Half my squad, this group, they didn't register them. Now I'm left with all these players and I have problems. Don't have enough legs to carry me to the end of the season. It's just the players on the pitch. What a joke. Got into a bit of a rut with tactics. Not getting time to create tactics I used to found. I'm just sticking to a few good tactics. Yeah, we all go through that as well. We all go through that, man. Sometimes I feel the same way, you know? I'll... Wow. Gashi Pasha won, man. My former club. What a result of the day. They beat Yeni Malati Sport away 2-0. Kashim Pasha are giving it what they can give. Oh, they're doing well. Look, and they got Fateh. Alperen is playing. Volkan is playing. The Dokus are playing. Joey is here. Tarako. Oh, this is a good lineup. This is a very good lineup. This is a very strong team. Look, this is what I left, okay? Behind. Joey. Tarkan. We ended up developing a team that is top. I mean, this team is not bad. And this, uh, this is their top scorer right now. You know. Yeah. Just when you think they might buckle under the pressure, they just. You can't. Uh, once you're a professional cup, you can't do part-time scouting. You have to do full-time scouting. Yeah. Yeah, see, okay, let me give you an example, right? So this tactic, right? We're doing shorter passing, right? See, look at that passing meter. Much shorter is very short, like one touch passing, but you have to adjust the tempo. This is shorter passing, right? Now you come to this pro. Right. Hey, sorry. Why am I going here? 
Okay. Uh, you come to this role, edit, right? So you come to edit, you see shorter passing, but you see this? This is not lit up. I think more is stable. This means he uses his decision-making attribute to make decisions as well. So sometimes, you see this, notice this, there's no, there's no standard passing, right? So the shorter passing, he'll adopt a shorter passing style, reining his approach, but occasionally he might take some risks because this means that he might take risks, right? Sometimes he might go long. So you also have to pay attention to the attributes as well. So if he's got passing, vision, and decisions, then he might take the long pass as well. So there's more to this game than just a simple, everybody's going to pass it short because I've chosen short passing. Like this guy, he's going to take risks. He might take the long pass. This guy is a winger. Um, ball playing defenders are going to go long. So this is something that you have to bear in mind whenever you create a tactic. So sometimes what I do is, uh, I did a video called Creative Passing last time, right? So what I used to do, I come into this guy. Okay, you go direct. You go this way. Uh, I don't want you to stay or anything. So he's that's a different pass. He does a different style altogether, right? So you can tell different players on the pitch to do different things. So that's that's how you can actually funk up your passing. It's a bit more creative the style. Player roles will affect the passing style. Trequatistas um, have a different passing style. They can go long, they can go short, they will take risks. So, yeah. Don't believe, don't for a moment think, right? This game, every single role is hard coded to perform exactly the same way. No, it doesn't. You have to look at the attributes of the player to tell you what you can see. So, there's a reason why I always tell people sometimes the best role in the game is actually CM and support, a very generic role. Why? Because if you have the players with the right attributes and the right traits, sometimes you don't want to tell them what to do. They don't know what to do themselves in the game. I had a chat with Ershin earlier today and the player would like to discuss the improved contract to reflect his importance in the team. Bloody hell. You're the only goalkeeper in the team. Of course you're important. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We can discuss a new contract right now. Yeah, we'll kick off talks in the near future. You coming? I mean, uh, yeah, get out, get out, get out. Okay. All right. Immediately I go back in. Yeah, contract. Yeah. Son, let's give you a new contract. Okay. We'll seriously. We'll give player a big pay rise. Shut up. Because of that, you okay, you can be important player, but you're not getting a big pay rise. The hell, I got no money in the club. <laughs> That's the best again. The minimum fee really cost foreign class 5.75. Seriously. Suggest terms. Walk away. Promise not kept. Discuss promise. I gave you a contract. You don't want it. Yeah. Shut up. I gave you a contract. You don't want the contract. <laughs> you think I'm going to bend over backwards for you again? That's one time I do that. See, some players want contracts, right? You do that. It's a... You don't... They would be unhappy, but it won't be as bad as you not keeping your promise. Then how won the league after you left? I think Kashim Basha might leave in the league. Yeah, because we don't have many games left, right? I have to catch Kashim Basha. Then if I win the league, I can leave straight away, right? So, so it's going to be tough, man. All right, what have we got here? Okay. Bring it to, and I have to reach the final. So I have to, we have to beat Galatasaray now. You should be able to offer full-time contracts. Yeah, I don't know why you're having to give part-time. Oh, talk to your board. Go to your board request. Go to your staff, right? Come here. Check whether or not you can sign uh, full-time scouts or full-time staff because sometimes it's here. You have to increase the... You have to ask the board to approve it. Because it could be here. It could be under your board request. Okay. Team selection. Quick pick. What do we have? I'm quick picking, guys. I'm not even bothering to look at my squad. Because I don't know my team at all. I don't... I'm, seriously, I just joined this club, right? So I'm quick picking all the way. I'm not going to rocket science this game. I'm just going to depend on the S-Pen now. Besiktas. 
Asale, Okudu, Levin, Toze, Amir, Sikit. Our main, um, our main DM, uh, halfback is uh, not available, right? So he is, uh, he's suspended for this uh, semi-final. So we got Nkudu on the flanks. Oh, that's, that's enough, I guess. In my half, say both teams from Switzerland won the titles with uh, in the second division. Oh, that's sad. It wasn't enough for them. Read one, away, come on. Oh, I guess that's a corner. Okay. Set piece corners. I didn't save it, I right? just know. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Um jumping reach five. You you come in. There's no point now. Okay. Left. Put you here. Oh, better still you come in here. Yeah. Um, let's attack. I, I, I'm not going to bother doing it again. I'm just going to leave it this way. You know? I forgot to do it. I wanted to save double routines, like a short and long corner routine. Uh, sh I, I usually have short corners and long corners. Wait a minute. There's a boy in that formation that's gotten my, has piqued my interest. Okay. I thought he, there's so many Doku Kans in the team. Okay, come on. Doku. Good clearance. Come on, Ozlu, get there. Yeah, run, 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 run. Shoot. Pass the ball at the end, Some do something. Is it good to schedule the tag him on the and they will match progression every week? Ah, uh, yeah. Do you have to understand, Chris? Those training schedules you're talking about match preparation are the only ones, apart from match practice, that actually train your players in the roles that they are supposed to be uh, getting familiar in. Right. So if you want your players to be trained in the, specifically the roles you set them up for, right? So let's say you say you want him to be trained as a DLP, then those are roles that you want them to be trained in. And the only training schedules that actually do that specifically are those kind of training schedules because they have individual roles set up in that. So yeah, you definitely want to include that. Match practice works on individual roles. Attacking movement works on individual roles. Defensive shape works on individual roles. So those are the three that do. Oh, I forgot to check the intensity. Somebody, one of you asked me about intensity. I'll, I'll have a look at it very soon. You same tactic for three seasons and now I lost one league game, 108. Yeah. I'm not like you though. I can't do that. I get bored very quickly. So I have to keep changing tactics just to, just to stay interested in the game. I like to try different things out, like different ways of playing this game. So there's like the 4-3-3 actually is a good tactic, right? So that's fun. The 4-4-2 is fun. But there are some tactics, right? You, you Once you find the players where it's very easy, right? I agree. But then don't you get bored playing the same tactic over and over again? Romero gets... Okay, this is good work from Ostunali. Go, Ostu, 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 go, 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 hit. <laughs> He's got nobody to give the ball to. Yeah, yeah, he gives the Amir. Amir finds the halfback. What is the halfback doing over there? Jose, CK, look at that. They're all going back to their positions again. Come on, boys. Oh, it's th 30th minute and he's given everything he can give. It's the 30th minute, guys. Why did... This is the club I joined who didn't register half their players in the club. So we left with about 15 players who can fit the match day squad. What a bug this is, man. So pissed with this. This is, this is a bug, right? So I'm really pissed with uh, this thing that happened in the game. 
there's no viable reason for some of these players not to be registered. There's absolutely no reason why. Because one of them is actually good enough to play for the first team. And under 22 players don't need to be registered. So it makes absolutely no sense why some players are not registered. I can understand if they want to leave the club, but the guy's got a contract until 2026. Uh, if he's got a contract for the next uh, two years. So basically what the game is trying to say is, uh, it's fine for us to keep players on the payroll. We don't have to use them for two years or at least this season. What a bug. That's a bad bug. Some bugs in this game that just are really poor and that's one of them. So, yeah. But we'll do our best. We shall try and win the title or else we shall try. No, no, no. Good challenge. What a challenge inside the box. That is Monty heroic, man. Oh, look at that. This guy is almost, almost at death's door. Okay, do we have another right back? Salim Atale. Uh, do, we have do I have another right back? Okay. <laughs> Please give me somebody who can be a right back. Okay, there we go. I'll play him there as a DM. Amir with the ball. Toze brings the ball forward. He finds Enkudu. Yeah, I know. He's intentional. I got my right wing back mark, man marking other players. I got a lot of man marking this thing. thing. Ooh. He should be the right winger. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'll just leave it. <laughs> let's see how if let's see how he screws up the tactic. It'll be fun. Now we keep our eyes on our right wing back and see where he ends up. There we go. Look at him, right? He goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's chasing the striker. He's got okay. Come. I want to get you. Now. Nah, yeah, yeah, there we go. You're not getting away because I got my eye on you, brother. I got my eye on you. This guy goes free on the side. Look at that. And he goes in, he goes in, he's following, he's following, he's following. He's blocked, the striker. Yeah, I'm gonna not let you have any space today. <laughs> he spotted that, very good. Yeah. It's crazy. This is a problem when you have like specific man marking instructions you didn't take out from the last game. What will happen is those guys end up in the wrong places. Nah, you don't have to. You don't have to train a role they specifically play. The most important thing in this game, okay, this is the in terms of priority, right? Okay, this is the in terms of priority thing. Okay, you always train a player in the position you want him to play. That is the most important, okay? Right? So if you're playing him as a DM, you train the position. So he gets main, he gets positional familiarity. Now, when it comes to the role, it's not important. You can train him in any role within that position. You can train him as a, if it's a, if you want to, if you want to play him as a Carrello, but you want to train him as a Mazala, but you, of course you can. There's nothing to stop you because it doesn't mean he cannot play as a Carrello, right? Because you've been training as a Mazala. No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that when he's training in his in his role, those are the attributes that your training is going to focus on, right? And don't forget, right? You've got general team training, which affects the whole team. And then if you've got individual role training, that's different. Individual role training only kicks in. Okay, if you, I mean, we have to go to training. Individual role training only kicks in when you are training for that role. So you've only got several sessions in a week that affect that. You've got your match preparation section, uh, um, sessions. You've got your match practice sessions. 
and i think one or two um one or two general sessions actually have individual roles in them I, if i'm not mistaken i don't think so i think it's just like there are very few i think three or four only that affect roles which is the reason why many of you don't notice this and why i created a complete training schedule so when i created a complete training schedule it is meant for it's a foolproof idiot's way of training because i'm an idiot i need a simple system so that i don't i can i can train uh players in any role i wanted so that they can improve specifically the attributes i need them to improve if if you don't choose roles for them what's going to happen is the game is going to choose an algorithm the game is going to determine those attributes by itself so yeah yeah but she lost. Okay, what's gonna happen is this, right? Okay, you go into the game, go to training, right? Don't choose a role. It's, you're given a generic one, right? So you, it tells you something generic, a central midfielder, some shit like that. Okay, so that's a generic role. Now, what attributes get improved? Any of the roles within that group of attributes, uh, that group of that position. So if in the CM position, you got Mazala, got Carrillo, got Morvini midfielder, got DLP, right? So it's like a lottery, a spin the wheel. <clears throat> you might get some attributes you might not need. So why would I ever want to do that? So you, you're going to have the same thing happen. So that's why I choose specifically roles. And this is no... is I'm, I'm not like, you know, I'm not making this up. I'm actually a moderator on the forums and I talk to the training developers. So that's a, this is a fact. So it's meant to help out the AI as well. So the AI plays the game and then um, chances are most of the time it's going to look at your... your is there, there are other elements within the game, right? So things like... Um, AI has got a preference for certain formations, right? Some of the managers. So this all this is built to make sure that the AI has a fair chance against a creative player. So yeah. But your players are not performing. I'm okay, man. I like I, I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. We one nil up. Why do you train all oh, no, no, no. I think it's because Mazala. No, I, I like the attributes as well. The Mazala attributes are the best attributes for a central midfielder. That's the by far the best for me. It's like the ultimate attributes. It's all the best attributes. The playmaker needs the same attributes as a Mazala. The central midfielder support would love those attributes as well because it's both attacking and defensive. Then you've got the Carrello. I mean, the Carrello doesn't need that many attributes. It just needs tackling, positioning, passing, right? Anticipation and some mentals. Then you've got the box-to-box -box midfielder who uses the same attributes a Mazala can use. So why would you want to train a central midfielder in any other role? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So the, the worst role is actually box to box. That is the worst role to train a central midfielder in because it is so broad that you'll never maximize the true value of a player. Like sometimes it's better with youngsters to train them in the fewest attributes you have so that because CA is a finite, you, you only have a finite amount of attributes that you can give a player, right? So once he, he gets a maximum number of attributes, as he gets older, if you change his positions, right? So you now you're training him in a different position. Right, so maybe you 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 playing him now as a um, you want to play him. Okay, thank God we scored one goal. We have to do a focus. Sorry. So sometimes you 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 decide I've got a wing back. I want to play him as a winger, for example. So you're changing his position, right? What happened to older players is your attributes. You don't learn new attributes sometimes because you hit the cap on attributes. What happens is they are reweighted. So they move the attributes around. So you you look when you look at the game, right? Oh, he's improving his attributes. Yeah. The game is kind of shifting maybe 20 points that you've earned. Maybe you've got a total of 20 attributes. So the game is shifting 20 attributes away from maybe tackling. Maybe we we'll take one away from tackling, give it to crossing, that kind of thing. That's what happens. So you gotta be able to you need to understand all this when you when it comes to training. I mean, there's one thing I know about this game. Ah, it's the training module. Otherwise, SI wouldn't have worked with me to create the training guide. 
Hey, I have the unofficial of I mean the unofficially official training guide was done with me and SI. Okay, doki, we done it, brothers. But we we had to concede the goal. We were, were spending so much time talking, we didn't even notice that. Okay, so at home we beat them two one. We hope to beat them again. We are playing Real Madrid <laughs> in the Europa Cup, guys. We're keeping the flag going. Okay, we got to. We had this very odd. This thing is like yes, we're gonna remove that now. <laughs> Somebody noticed it. Somebody noticed my fullback running around marking their striker. I think I did it for one of the games and left it in there because I, I looked at the formation they were playing. I think they were playing three strikers. So I wanted to track one of their strikers. Okay, come here, training. This is it, right? Somebody asked this question. Right. Oh, we go. We have, oh, I haven't hired any coaches. Apparently, one of the deals I made with this, with this uh, board, right, when I joined them was I wasn't going to hire anybody. So I'm going to keep this promise. I'm not hiring any coaches. Okay, so this is what you do. Okay, this is double. This is... This can be double intensity. Uh, you can leave it at normal. Right, but I've got a, a very... I'm going to leave it at normal right now. Normally, what I do is double intensity. But I don't have a squad. A full squad. This is no pitch. This is half intensity. This is normal. This is normal. So what? then after that, what you do is you come here. Right? You do this. See this? Do auto. Right? Mouse over. Use your, sc your scroll wheel on your mouse and just get it to this. And then what? The game automatically adjusts it for you. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Because the, what, the last thing you want is your players... Staying on half intensity for the better part of their career. So this means that they will follow this bar here. So if they are currently after the match, they are like uh, their body, their condition is low, like their heart is low, like this, then they go on half intensity training. That's the best. That's why I find. You like coaching to work like scouting so that I can give my assistant responses at training but give general guys ah, yeah. Maybe it might happen someday, but I don't know, man. Why didn't this oh this is automatic? It's automatic. Why doesn't it? Automatic. Automatic. Okay, done. Alright. Okay, done. So you come in here and do all this, right? Done. See? You just use a scroll wheel and it's very fast. Yeah. And I, in, and the other thing about this game as well, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of hidden things in this game. Oh, some people might not know. Like, you go scouting, right? You do your trial. You know, I, I know some of you like coming here. I hate coming here. So I, I prefer not to do it this way. So this, I think I did this, uh, I showed you guys a guide the other time. Okay. Alright, so, for those guys who do lower league management, right? Hit a hold your uh, click one, hit shift, go to the bottom, you select all this, then keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, hit about 50 players. Once you get 50 players, right click. You see this? You see the number here? Once you hit 50 players, you can invite them for trials. That kind of thing, right? So you want to find your trial list, this is how I normally invite players for trials. This is one of, one of the best ways of doing it. So normally, what you do is you come in here. Uh, this is oh this is uh for the shortlist. I was creating a shortlist for youngsters, yeah, 15 to 17 appearances. I was doing a video for a video guide for scouting the last time. So that's how you how you do your you know, try and invite like 50 over players at one go. Because there are two ways to do well in lower league football, right? You want to get instant promotions in low league football, right? So one is you get an affiliate club and then when you get an affiliate club you scouting right you send you create an assignment where you get a team report right you you ask for a team report on your affiliate club once you get a team report on, on an affiliate club so basically you create assignments oh, that's your assignment so you create assignment you see team here so you you go and ask for a report on a specific team they select the team here right so you go and choose the team maybe you want uh, manchester whatever affiliate club you have they will do a report for you they go and go to the affiliate club, they provide 
all the players from the affiliate club for you. And then um, in your scouting center, you get recommendations for players you can take on loan. Right. Very, very, very like all the sneak. I mean, I won't call it sneaky. It's like the ways you can, um, I guess, uh, get the best place in your club to help you get promoted from the Van Rama National South. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Uh, we've removed that guy. Read one Atakan and CK, Serdar and Lovato. I, this guy's jumping, which is 12. This guy's jumping, which is 16. I have lasted this long with this team. I have no clue. Milos, you come here. I don't know. I don't think Milos can start. He can. Okay, there we go. What about this guy? Atakan Karazor. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, this guy is slow. He might lose this game. I still don't know who the players are. I've been I've been doing it like that. Because I want the season to be over. Okay, so we're playing a 4-4-1-1 Atabe. Okay, is it, what? Seriously? What? I, <laughs> he starts the game and wants to pick a fight. He, almost immediately. It's like the whistle, the, the whistle blows and he comes in. He picks a fight while my players. Ah, there's a yellow on this. You know, that means I must have shortlisted this guy in my notebook because you're a manager, right? Let's just pause the game, right? Control K. Opens up your notebook. Uh, I can't open up the notebook from here. Yeah, okay. All right. This guy is in my notebook, man. This one has a yellow dot. Potential left back replacer for Antoni. From Kashim Pasha, this. Red one, Yilmaz. AT, LET, how are you, man? You should highlight all players and then you only need to change one to automatic. Oh, okay, cool, man. You should highlight all players and then change one to automatic. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you very much. I didn't know that was even faster way, man. Thanks. Be using white, white, white target man or most wingers because all seem to have eight time review. I want to bomb that up. Ha ha ha. Jose is being drawn away from his vision to the map. Okay, well, uh, another guy. Jose, where's Jose? Jose, who are you marking? Defender, right? That's fine. Just put pressure on the defender. Demi Lovato is being sent off, man. Oh. Demi Lovato, please do not get sent off. Okay. Again, another dominating game. Jose with a go offside. Is it safe for after every match to set the physio rank and condition or leave it on automatic? Or leave it on? No, 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 no. You leave it on automatic. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You just adjust that. With the physio recommendation kick in, you kick the physio recommendation. When do you do that? You like if, for example, right? If you practice a game where you do rotation, active rotation, then you should be fine, right? So you don't have to worry about physio recommendations. Normally, they will the, the game will automatically um, what the game will automatically do is it will it will light it, it will just move the intensity, it will change the intensity, right? So that's what it will do. So you should be fine. Levin Ostunali. Okay, look, this guy is back. I have to put in somebody who can actually tackle and cross the ball. Yeah, you put you. It's not like I have much of a choice, but yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. They, they, this boy, this wing back is good, but if I keep playing him, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna get injured. Come on, Salim. Yo! Nice goal. We're fighting. We're fighting. Come on, boys. That was a brilliant cross. What a cross. From Salim. Whips it. 
Oh my goodness, Emir Aslan. That was a great goal. A very nice goal. Okay, we're gonna have to take off our left back as well. Okay, this this guy is God's gift to speed. <laughs> 17. He's like God, he's got God given speed. Okay. We definitely don't want him to get injured, right? So Barat. I don't care if you're left footed, right footed, whatever foot, you just come here. <laughs> I can't afford for that guy to get injured. Um, so if you want to train a striker's mental, should I put them on pressing forward training? What mentals are you trying to improve? Because you can always use uh, focus, uh, focus play to improve a striker's mentals. So like, you know, what mentals are you looking at specifically? Because the only mentals you need is like off the ball, right? Composure. And, bo and both of them can be improved with uh, focus training. So why would you want to specifically choose pressing forward training of all the training sessions? Like for me, my strikers, I typically, I tend, with my strikers, I tend to more or less follow the roles that they're playing. Like advance forward is very convenient for most of my strikers because it only focuses on those very necessary attributes, right? Because I, I want finishing, I want composure, I want acceleration. That's the three that I'm really after and off the ball. So those are basically the four that I'm interested in. Maybe passing and maybe passing and technique. Yeah, that can help. So those are the only attributes I'm interested in for and advanced for. But why specific? I'm I'm more curious as to why you, you pick pressing forward training. That is every notice I don't have a single player on pressing forward training. I've never had anybody on pressing forward training. Maybe that's the reason why I don't have a 50 goal striker. I don't know. But I don't have anyone on pressing forward training. I don't see the need to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on track. Apparently, I was an idiot for the last match. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I kept the marking, man marking instructions in the game. Uh, thank you to whoever spotted it. You saved my day, man. Because <laughs> I haven't been playing this for a while, right? So I must have come with some genius man marking instructions for a specific game. Man. Seriously, am I playing the game or is somebody else playing the game in my sleep? I think somebody else is playing my game when I'm not here. I must be sleepwalking. Coming to the computer, setting things up, then playing the game like a zombie, then walking away. Okay, we gotta have to bring this boy in. I don't know who he is, but yeah. That's the life I've chosen with this club. So I just brought in players off the bench. I have no clue whether they are actually defenders or not. I just like pick anybody. Right, it's 12 jumpish. Okay. Right. Bravery 8, composure 5, positioning 13, tackling 13. Really, where have I come? <laughs> Which club have I joined? Concentration and bravery. Why? Okay. Why would you want to waste your time with bravery? Why? I mean, like, okay. You gotta... S Concentration really is only helpful for players that you... Strikers who need to break the offside trap. Right? So... And bravery can improve with aerial training. Why would you want to specifically go use pressing forward, right? So, I, I, okay. Let's, let's, let's look at the attributes, right? And I'll, I'll explain why. Okay. Concentration... Is like Emir here, okay? Let's go training. Let's go. Emir, come, let's go training. No, nope. you gotta set. We have a different plan for you, so we're leaving you there. We're not gonna change that. Let's look at Asale, right? His bravery is nine. I don't give a, I don't care, right? Bravery is a, like a waste. Is there's no point. Advance forward. Look at this acceleration, agility, balance. Get, get, beat players, go score goals. This is what these attributes basically says, okay? B players keep running for goal because there's a long distance you need to dribble the ball. Okay, good. Works. Finishing, bury the shot. Composure, don't miss. Anticipation, you know the ball, you know the play is breaking down. Get ready to break the lines. That works. Okay. Decisions, yeah, you know what to, that means, right? Basically, decide when to go. break the offside trap along with concentration, right? Okay. Okay. First touch, take the ball. First volley, you know, sometimes you do a, we do a volley, sometimes you have to bring the ball down and then strike, get that. Passing, yeah, enough. Technique, enough. Work rate, off the ball. Decisions. What are the attributes we need for a striker? Okay, now if I'm playing a complete forward, there's a different story. Then I need jumping reach, right? Then I need vision. Uh, probably teamwork. Uh, maybe some flair, hitting. 
then I will need a complete forward, right? So the only two trading schedules I actually look at most of the time is either advanced forward for those out and out strikers or complete forward. The complete forward has got such a high benchmark. The problem with this trading schedule is, okay, so many attributes to improve. Chances are you're never going to hit them all, right? So it's like a, you're wasting a player's, uh, your minimum spend, you know, you're, you're trying to, this is like, if somebody were to give you a hundred dollars, right? You want to pick every single suite you can possibly pick in the shop, but you are never going to be satisfied with the flavor of a specific suite, right? You're never going to have any diminishing, diminishing returns with any suite, but you, you never get enough of that one strawberry sweet that you would have liked. So in this particular case, you get diminishing returns with all this. So you're not going to get the best out of your player. So I normally, now if you go pressing forward here, yeah, let's go pressing forward. This isn't bad. I like pressing forward. It's a good, it's actually pretty solid here. You got strength, you can leave it here. Anticipation, bravery, composure, decisions. It's fine as well. Pressing forward is not too bad. Except, this, I kind of value passing a lot. But what you would do if you want to stay on pressing forward, right? Add this for your pressing forward. Passing technique and vision. Add these three. You know why? See this technique? Improving technique, right? Also, as part of your team training sessions, right? You know your strikers got left foot and right foot, right? So they will work on both the feet with during training as well. So here you go to your training. This is one of the reasons why I got the complete training schedule. The only training schedule you ever need. Okay, let's go. Chance creation. Where is it? There we go. Technique. This session works on a player's left and his right foot as well. So there you got left and right foot here. Then you got a training. Uh, squad. I don't know. The striker, any striker we got. Okay, then we go to passing, right? So you do passing, or something. This is important if you want them to be decent. Huh? So, and then it just improves his general overall play style, right? Makes him good with the, you know, basically the things that you want him to do, right? So I just like this. So the, if you're doing pressing forward, this is what I do. I add, I, I add passing. If you want to, you can. I think this will be good for you, yeah. And it's will suit you. But I personally, I, I don't, right? I have, it's not very often that I just choose pressing for, but it's a good training schedule, don't get me wrong. I just don't. I just like to keep things simple because I'm in a league where I can't afford to do pressing for training. I've gone very, I've gone into the simple, simple areas like AF, okay, go score goals, you know, I, I, I can't pick. I'm not rich. I'm not a rich club. In the sense that, you know, I've got, Lots of options for players. Okay, guys, what's the situation? Ladies and gentlemen, for a moment, for just a moment, we are top of the table with Besiktas. We are ahead of our old rival, Kashim Pasha, on goal difference. As the pressure is now on the rest of the league, Kashim Pasha have seen their lead go. Now we wait for the other results to come pouring in as we have applied the pressure. We are playing Real Madrid. In the Europa Cup. If I always double up on the role area, baby, is a minimum time. Yeah, you like target man. Yeah, target man also is, I mean, like, it's really, you know, it's your play style. At the end of the day, it's your play style. There's no best training for a role. It's you, you the way you play your game. Like, Jahid is a big bully, right? So when he plays, he's, he, he likes... He likes his players to win the ball, bully their way to a goal. So he goes for bravery, strength, aerial strength. So that can work as well. I think one of my in one of my saves with Forest, I am doing that. I've got a whole bunch of very physical players in Forest. So I've got like strength training, aerial training. So it's really it's it, this game has got no like cut and dry rule that you have to follow. It's you, know, you go out there, have fun with it. All right. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Our this youth Kashim Pasha's youth team is still top of the table. Well, we left a really good legacy there, boy. Yeah, look at the youth team at Kashim Pasha. So let's I don't know whether we can find it. 
Uh, maybe you go to Besiktas under 18. Look at that, man. This is a legacy I've left. No? They used to be at the bottom. After I left, Kashim Pasha under 19s are now the pride and joy of the land. This is what they are producing. A, a tear is coming down. I left the I don't often do journeyman saves like this. Where I'm forced to leave a club by resigning. So we are going to we are gonna tank the game against in the Europa Cup. Most likely. Uh, calendar, so this is recovery. This is fine. Um, this is recovery. Okay, we're gonna do match preparation. This is your going. All right, this should be fine. In fact, I don't need this. I can put this. I can put this here. And then. Uh, Don't forget, guys, tonight is the Wasted Possession Draft, right? So I, I'm not taking part in it. <laughs> just, I'm just shouting out for the guys there. Uh, draft mode. And uh, they are having their competition at 7 p.m. UK time. So you got to go to Twitch, do a search for Wasted Possession, and you'll find the channel. I'll just uh, follow them, follow it on Twitter, or follow me on Twitter. I'll be, I'll be relinking them tonight if I'm awake. Because <laughs> it's uh, understandably, it's 4 a.m. in the morning for me. And the missus... She knows I'm not doing draft mode tomorrow, right? So she's kind of booked me for the day. Okay, here we go. So do we play with CK? The guys who are tired are read one. Okay, let's go to our... Basically, before we decide. Because I'm I'm tanking this match. There's no way I'm putting my best players in it. Uh, risk assessment. Okay, so we've got players becoming fatigued. Who's this read one? So he's not playing. Anybody else? So this guy is becoming fatigued. It's only one guy. All right. So read one is not playing. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we just Sulaiman, you about to suffer <laughs> at the hands of Real Madrid. Yeah. All right. Okay, done. Matteo Lovato has been selected as captain. All right, guys, we shall just, uh, you know, we are due respect. We're going there. We're hoping not to lose, but, you know, we are saving our boys for the championship run. That's more important. Real Madrid versus Besiktas. It's a proud day for the boys. Barat plays there CK. They believe in themselves, man. They are attacking. Uh, picks up the ball. Lovato, Suleiman, Lovato looks long. Looks for Asale. Osutonale, Asale is true. Oh my goodness. That's a hell of a start from my team. I mean, here I am, the manager, going, I'm hoping we don't win. <laughs> when we hear, oh, Mbappe is injured. Mbappe did his token sprint and decided he had enough. So he's, he's gone for medical treatment immediately. Okay, this is this is interesting. We've got a throw, man. What a performance from Besiktas. So far, it's only the uh, tenth minute. We'll probably um, be praying long and hard that we let Declan Rice is playing for Bashik uh, for Real Madrid. Wow, look at this lineup. Vinicius is playing, Mbappe, Mo Salah, Declan Rice. Where did they get their money for these players? Postunali picks out the pieces. Emir Han looks long. CK with the ball, passes to Ostonali. They try to work their way through, but Serda picks that up. Emiran Luho and Kolu looks in. Tubo Courtois forced into another save. Declan Rice, it's... Real Madrid have had to defend. Look at that. Mbappe surrounded by the defense and they give the ball back to us. This is looking interesting, guys. This is looking very interesting, isn't it?
We've had a very interesting start to this match. A match I am saying, please don't win. Please don't win. We don't have enough players to last the season. Please. This is the first time I'm praying, right? That my team doesn't win. But I, I don't want to feel a shitty team, right? So then I would have had a bad scoreline. I was I, I think we're good enough to lose like one or two nil. That's about it. This is offside. Tit tit. Thank you very much. So, what's it? so tell me more about your saves, guys. What kind of saves are you guys playing? I know, I know what Jahid is doing, but what about the rest of you? What's your longest save at the moment? Mo Salah's going to score. Yeah, I knew it. Thank you. We knew this was going to happen. Set piece, goal, Ersin going wide, but that wasn't enough. But the boys have played pretty well, right? In the first half. We asked the questions. They got a free kick they scored from it. Mate, what we'll do is, uh, we'll do something nice. We'll do something nice, eh? This, we always like doing something nice. Poor Mbappe. He's injured already. Oh, as man, the assistant manager, the manager of Real Madrid took him off straight away. They realize, they realize that someone other, my decisions on hard tackling, uh, Mbappe was transmitted immediately to their bench. And it, they brought a Mason Greenwood for Mbappe. Oh, wonderful. They got a yellow card. You're playing with Benfica for four seasons trying to win the Champions League? Well, you should. Tactical. You have to come up with a tactical plan, Kepas. Most of the time, it's tactics. You have to come up with a system that allows you to soak the pressure and hit them on the break. That's what you got to do. You got to master the art of playing, hitting teams quickly. Like they're hitting me right now. We, see, the thing is, right, if I had the right one, just one or two more players in this team, right, we could have taken Real Madrid to the cleaners. That lightning start we had was a good one. But this team, I mean, seriously, this team, if this team can beat Real Madrid, I'm going to report this to SI as a bug. Really? This is the team. Their jumping reach is 12 at the back. Our two defenders are 12. They can't deal with crosses. So they should honestly be scoring, right? With all the crosses. Inkudu is away. Gets away. Inkudu looks for options. Oh, he's got everything to do on his own. Mo Salah. Look at him. Mason Greenwood. The boys are back defending. This is good. Look at his striking. So there's no option to pass there. He has to go the other way. There we go. But there's only so much they can do. Right. Mo Salah has got his hat trick. Well done. Now we go to commentary mode. Seen enough of this. Yay, I don't have to play the Europa Cup anymore. Your current save is with Lilstrom. Oh, nice. That is so nice, man. Mo Salah in Turkey. No, Mo Salah is you are in the Europa Cup. Real Madrid are playing the Europa Cup. Uh, he's not in Turkey. So we are playing in the... I, is it the Europa Cup or the Champions League? I think it's Europa Cup, yeah. Because I just took over Besiktas. I'm, you know, they're in this competition. I'm playing 4 4 2 and trying to play with a playmaking for like Jao Felix. Is the best role they play for? Because they have support. F9. F9. Go with F9. Try a F9. Advance forward. Yeah. I will go F9. That's my first choice. You can make a 4-4-2 with an F9. I've done it many times. I've, in fact, I have a 4-4-2 with an F9 right now. So it's very nice to have an F9. So it's like, that's like a playmaking forward. Another playmaking forward is like a Trecortista. Deep line forward is not really a playmaking forward. Right? But he drops deep and he looks for passes to link up other players too. But if you have a really creative player like that, then I would go with, uh, I would go with um, F9 first as the first choice. Yubekara Bookspore. 
what a story that team has. Oh, that's cool, man, Stinger. I'll be very keen on learning about your story on here. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure there is a story coming on your YouTube channel very soon. Has there ever been a Discord community save? I don't think so. I think the closest we've had is the hot potato save, Jai, the one that we've been doing, where we, you know, pop in our tank. <laughs> yeah, we got an insane bunch of guys on our channel. Uh, what they do is, um, the it's a tactical challenge, right? So, all they do is, uh, every game month, they have to come up with a new tact formation that another manager has not used before. So they are not allowed to repeat a formation that somebody else has used. So if somebody has played a 4-4-2, they are not allowed to play the 4-4-2 again. Oh, guys, seriously. We don't want to kill our players, right? So let's just, since we're here to lose, let's just put in, you know, a few players on the pitch. So we don't care where they go. Just, you know, just don't die. <laughs> don't don't get injured. We only got 15 players. <laughs> I still can't believe this, man. They're allowed to register like 25 or 30 plays in Turkey. And my my management decided, hey, why don't we don't why don't we ignore registering half the squad? You bloody useless piece of shit. But Shiktas use candidates help as you know impresses, huh? Really? Okay. With Shiktas youth candidates. Really, I won't be I won't be here that long, but yeah, okay. Yeah, just sign all the recommended plays. Yeah. I don't plan to be your club <laughs> for very long. With, if I win the title, I'm out of here. But <laughs> I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm leaving Turkey in a hurry. <laughs> I'm never coming back. <laughs> I don't want to come back. Oh my goodness! Insecure jobs. You're looking at insecure jobs. Uh, we can. I'm looking for. I'm hoping to go to like you know, Russia or some 3.5 league. Who's this? Insecure jobs. No, no, no. So we've got Fulham, Bayer Leverkusen, Bundesliga, Belgian Pro League, Underlight. Oh my goodness. This would be nice. They got lots of money. Soviet in the Swiss Super League. No else. We've got no other leagues, man. So we we can only go to like Austria. Uh, we can stop this. No international club. Forget international. We can't go to England. Can't go to France. Can't go to Germany. Can't go to Italy. Can't go to the Netherlands. Uh, can't go to Portugal. Can't go to Spain. The rest we can go to, right? So, okay, done. So, these are filtered. Why is Germany there? Oh, shish kebabs. Okay, these are na nations like idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Premier is out. Pro League, first division. Premier division of what? Which country is this? Yeah. Ah, hell. This is gonna take too long. Do you know? Uh, do, 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 do. I know they're hot to but that's just for tactics. Yeah. We should do something different, right? Like a community safe where. Actually, you know what we should do? We should do the Ernst Happel challenge as a community safe. You know, on a Discord. But I don't know how... But, but it's got to be something people can sink their teeth into. That's the thing. Like, there has to be a challenge, you know. There has to be some kind of a reward at the end. Like, um, like how do you... Some goal that they have to achieve, right? So that's, the, that's the challenge. You know a tactic where you can hit the opponent attacking you with your fullbacks over your wingers? Over oh, your wingers? I know it works too much before this wingers, but... Do you know a tactic where you can hit the opponent attacking you with their fullbacks over your wingers? I don't understand the question. I have completely no idea, man. What that? I seriously, I have no idea what that means. I'm trying to understand what that means, man. So an, an opponent is attacking you with your fullbacks over your wingers, which is normal. When your fullbacks are gonna go, you know, over your wingers anyway. Uh, so, you want to counter their fullbacks. Then you have to have inside for us a 4 3 3 or something like what I'm using. And basically, a tactic which, you know, goes down the flanks. Yeah, I know. Um, we have to. Uh, I'm toying with the idea, but it's got to be a challenge, like a Pentagon challenge. That would be nice. Because a Pentagon challenge, right? 
a pentagon challenge where players have to like it's like a journeyman challenge right so each manager will have his own unique so you, you go from one pen, from one nation to another nation that could be one way of doing it you don't always play left on left, left on right, and right on left. You don't have to because it depends on the, whether the player is versatile with his feet. So if he has, if he's reasonable or he's strong, it's better to play him on his left. But you don't have to. Yeah. Are you going to? Are you going Turkey? I mean Turkey already. But I'm like, if I can win the title, I'm leaving Turkey, man. <laughs> First boat out of here. We're top the table, guys. We're top of the table, Kashim Pasha level of points. We're going in for the grand finale. Finish. Kashim Pasha lost to Razor Spore. <laughs> First time I'm cheering defeats for them. Then we got Fenerbahce who are like a point behind us. We got, we got, we got time, man. We got time. But we lost to, we lost to them. We got to play Gestepe. And then we got Real Madrid and Gaziantep. And then Fenerbahce, Kaisesarapo, Yenembalate Spore, Galatasaray, Razor Spore. I mean, seriously, how do you pronounce these names? I have no clue. Okay, and the missus is home. We gotta go soon, man. Just save this. My wife is back, man. She's like, weekend and stuff. She definitely wants her husband to be around. I mean, when they are... Fullbacks put a 2 e one against your... Fullbacks. Their fullbacks have a 2v1 against the fullbacks. I want to exploit the space of fullbacks. Yeah, definitely. Play a 4 3 3 or a 4 2 3 1. Yeah. If you have that kind of a situation, then you. Yeah, you don't have to pull their wingers back with marking. You don't have to. You can hit them on the break by not playing play out of the defense. Because a lot of people have this default setting in their tactics, which is play out of defense. You don't have to play, play out of defense. Why would you. See, that's the thing that will kill you on the counter all the time. Play out of defense. Kills you on the counter. Because you're telling your team, hey, you know what? When we win the ball, give it to the DLP before you give it to the midfielder. And then after that, from the midfielder, we give it to the winger. So, if you want to hit those um, the spaces, then go with a... Um, go with... Um, you can play a 4-2-3-1. You can play a 4-3-3. Just don't have play out of defense. That's it. And direct passing. And you should be able to do that, man. Fergie challenge starting with lowest... What is the Fergie challenge? Starting with lowest Scottish League 1 team. Yeah, that could work. I think it's better to ask the community in general. Like, ask them what they want to do. Like, in order for a community safe to... to be successful, you know, there's got to be buy-in, right? right? So, there will have to be people who want to do it as well. But I'm sure that there will be a few people. Speaking of which... Uh, yeah, I have to go, man. My wife is at the door and she's, uh, had a long day. And... Man, once you get, once you guys get married, you know exactly what this means. <laughs> okay, so I want to thank everybody for popping into this thing. You've been absolutely fantastic. You had a really good time. A lot of old faces, uh, and new faces too. So, once again, I want to thank the man there who doesn't play football manager. Doesn't own the game, doesn't have a computer, but still finds my content my content entertaining enough to for him to pop in onto the stream and say thank you. So I want to thank you too, man. You've been absolutely fantastic. You made my day. I can't wait to tell my wife that. I can't wait to tell my wife that. Okay, so you guys have been sensational. I love you guys a lot. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll catch up with you. Don't forget the wasted possession draft finals is tonight at 7 p.m. London on Twitch. If I'm awake, I'll definitely be popping in. So you guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.